All our calves have a name. Marika Penterman has been through a tough year and a half. The small dairy farmer and owner of Marika Gouda says her family farm barely made it through the pandemic. We had a hard time paying bills. We first met Marika last fall in Milwaukee. She was donating cheese from her farm to the Hunger Task Force to help people facing food shortages from COVID-19. Mid-March, everything went south. Uh, it was so devastating that the well, dairy farmers here in uh, Wisconsin, we had to dump our milk. The Hunger Task Force got donations from the public and bought cheese, milk, and yogurt that was going to be thrown out by producers. You know, we've all had a difficult 16 or 18 months. And when the uh, COVID came in in March of 2020, we lost 50% of the food service market that we had because almost half the cheese in Wisconsin goes into food service. That helped farmers like Marika make it through. Wisconsin's dairy farms have been in crisis for a while. In 2019 alone, 780 dairy farms closed across the state. This past year, there were 610 closures. Overall, that's a rate of nearly two per day. The Farm Bureau reports dairy farmers have been struggling with low milk prices from supply outweighing demand. Marika says it's made even worse by the cost of taking care of cows. Hi prices, low milk income. We have to see that we find a solution for those. Dairy farmers of Wisconsin say a lot of little things need to change to help the industry. They want to see cheese exports increase. They also want plant-based products to be stopped from calling themselves milk or cheese. Well, we'd love to see the FDA enforce the rules that they have in place and not allow other products uh, call themselves or trade on the good name of dairy. Marika says they also need more people to continue to support local farmers. You don't choose this profession, but you have a certain drive in you and you have a certain love for dairy farming. Um, so it's it's not we are not driven by money, but at the end we do need money to make an income and keep food on our own table. The Hunger Task Force is still running its program to support struggling dairy farmers. You can donate by clicking on the link to this story. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.